Hey y'all, welcome to today's video. Today we're leaving out of Whitefish, Montana. We're here at the beautiful Best Western Plus. The bikes are accumulating and we are taking you on one of the most epic rides in the entire country. And it's going to the Sun Road and it's located in the middle of Glacier National Park, which is probably my number one personal favorite national park in the entire country. Let's enjoy the ride. The best part about riding Glacier today is I get my son to ride with me. Ashley flew in, they rented a car, and now my boy Brady is going to see Glacier National Park for the first time on the back of a motorcycle. Going to the sun is about 50 miles in total length. We started in the west and we rode out to the east. You can do the road in either way and both ways are going to give you completely different views. This road is absolutely unbelievable. It just twists and winds through this mountain range. And man, what do you think, Brady? I think it's beautiful. Yeah, I think you're right, man. How cool. Sorry you're not getting to experience it on a motorcycle, baby. It's a total different experience in a car than it is on a bike. Yeah, but you've ridden it on your own. On Here's actually a video from when Ashley and I rode it last time, linked down here below. Now inside this tunnel, check it out tunnel cut through the mountains. I don't know what I always love about these, but I certainly do. This one's got a little path you can walk on through. They got these cutouts in it where you can walk out and you can see forever. Still a lot of snow up there. That is probably, oh man, that's a long ways away. And this has got to be close to 80 or 90 here right now, huh? Yeah. It's pretty hot. Beautiful waterfall coming down right there. All that snow water, super pretty. Bike is performing flawlessly over the elevations. A Thunder Max tuner is doing great. Look at this elevation. Holy cow. We have made it almost to the top of these mountains. Way down there is a river and a lake we were swimming in. Convoy riders going by left and right. It's a little smoky out here because of the fires they've been having. But man. Even with the smoke, it's still absolutely breathtaking up here. What do you think? I think that's a long ways down. It is. Now, they started construction on this road in 1919, and they used over 490,000 pounds of explosives just to carve this road into the sides of these epic mountains. And there's pullouts like this all along this road. Just take the time if you're doing it to stop and pull out and take this in because whew, it'll take your breath away. Glacier National Park is comprised of over 175 mountains, and the tallest of which is reaching over 10,488 feet. Here you can see the granite. I believe that's granite. I don't know, it's stone. And it, the road is cut right into the side of it with hundreds of feet down to the bottom. And it runs right along that granite wall, cuts back, and then look at this waterfall coming through it. Oh my God. How cool is that? What an awesome, Awesome, breathtaking view. The road runs right underneath it, falls lots of feet down and then just breaks there on the ground. Man, this is why I love Glacier National Park. Glacier National Park is definitely a park worth riding if you're enjoying bodies of water. In fact, there are over 762 bodies of water located inside this national park. Now, the temperatures up here are typically fairly cool, although today they were extremely hot, which made it perfect for jumping off, getting in the water. The water, I think the temperatures are pretty cold. Some of our crew kept their clothes on. Some of us changed into swimsuits. Nonetheless, the water is worth getting into, and it's crystal clear. You can see to the bottom. You can see through it. It is some of the most beautiful, spectacular, clean water you can find anywhere on this planet. It's 
So I was telling Brady, you can see as we're getting higher in elevation, the trees are getting so much smaller. That's like a uh, four or five foot tree right there. And they get kind of sparse. And as you continue to go up, they disappear altogether. They put in these walkways up here. This is a very common spot to see the rams. In fact, I think in our last video, we had a mama and a baby come right up to us on this very walkway. So there's one way up there, actually climbing the side of the mountain right now. You guys can see how far that is up. Look at this. That is remarkable. What do we got here? I don't know what that is. Interesting little fellow. What is he? Ready? You see this? He's climbing down. See the one's climbing down to the other one. You can see the hair from where the mountain goes to walk in right through here. And these are just the kind of things you see. Glacier National Park. And that's the road. Cutting all along there. So that's the difference right there. That's a ram. And that's a mountain. On the summit, there's actually a visitor center, which is going to give you all kinds of information about different wildlife, elevations, and history to the park. Definitely a spot I recommend stopping to visit. In fact, you can even get your water bottles filled there with built-in water bottle filling stations. So they say this road is the most difficult road in all of America to clear for the snow. In fact, it's two weeks to clear just one mile of this road. When you're riding through this park, especially this individual road, you're gonna be experiencing very smooth pavement. Now, this is not a ride that's gonna challenge your ability. There's not a ton of switchbacks. There's not a ton of awkward bank corners. Most of the turns are sweeping and fairly simple to navigate. The elevation changes are pretty steady and consistent whether you're climbing or dropping. There's not a lot of dips, not a lot of drop-offs. The riding itself is fairly simple. And it's a good thing because there is so much to see. And if that road was too twisty and too windy, you would just miss some of the most spectacular views this country has to offer. What do we got here, Brady? We got a mountain goat. We're going up to it up close. Not too close, not too close. Well, here he is, right in the parking lot. Look at the size of him. Massive. Oh, when you're riding down these roads, the edge is right there next to you, and you're riding right on the edge with thousands of feet to the bottom of these things. And all that's between you and that road often is a rock rail like this, which you're gonna say is up to about my knee. This is not enough to keep you from going over the top. A car, it may stop, but a motorcycle is going to hit that and you're going to go right over the top. And when you do, it is a long, long, long straight ways down. So you definitely want to be paying attention when you're riding along these roads because they are certainly very dangerous. The other main type of rail you're going to see up here is just a big like telephone pole strapped to some steel and they're running that along. So either you get that short rock or you get that telephone with steel and it's no higher than the rock is. And on the opposite side, often you've got waterfalls and just sheer rocks that are just misting you with this cool water. On a hot day, that's wonderful, but the temperatures do get cold up here and then it might be a different story. Look at this view, that snow waterfall coming all the way down, falling there. Look at that. Oh. That is just remarkable. We live in one of the absolute most beautiful countries in the entire world. It is absolutely magical, baby, come here. So glad I'm getting to share this with my family. I hope y'all get to experience it with some friends or family or loved ones as well. This is a trip of a lifetime.
That's great. <laughs> awesome road. Glacier Park is amazing. Here I am in the 60s and I've never been anything as amazing as this. That is the most beautiful <laughs> ride or drive that I've ever made. I am so happy that Adam took us through this. I can't believe how breathtaking it is here. One thing worth noting, if you go to a national park, this park included with any other, you do have to pay to go in. And if you happen to be one of those veterans out there, bring your veteran card because you enter to all national parks for free. And if you get a chance, guys, take this trip. It is a breathtaking ride that you are sure not to regret cutting the time out of your year for.